हरे कृष्णा एंगजाइटी इज कॉज मोर बाय इनर इंस्टेबिलिटी देन बाय आउटर अनसर्टनिटी researchers who have studied stress and anxiety have found a curious paradoxical pattern in the developing countries people have much more reasons to be anxious food clothing shelter electricity light uh, water these things are uncertain and such uncertainty naturally causes anxiety in the developed countries these things these basic necessities of life are more or less well taken care of and yet all the people in the developed world have less things to be worried about often they are more they tend to be more worried the anxiety levels in the developed world are much more than in the developing world further when people move from the developing countries to the developed countries often their anxiety levels also shoot up now what is the cause of anxiety actually <clears throat> anxiety is caused not just by outer uncertainty yes that is one cause you know what will happen will this come or will that happen or not will this thing go right or not this things cause anxiety but anxiety is also caused by much more by inner instability inner instability means that if we do not have a stable uh, stable self conception if we don't have a stable basis for our life if our sense of self worth and self identity come too much from externals then we cannot but feel anxious because every external change seems far more consequential than it needs to be so so if i think that my whole sense of identity depends on uh, who i am uh, who i am and what i am worth depends on whether i can uh, say uh, win this lottery or i can win this game or i can purchase this car or i can get this promotion or i can get this particular girl or boy whatever so if we wed our sense of self identity and self worth to externals then every small external small external thing becomes very big and it becomes a source of great anxiety but if we have a stable sense of self identity then we don't get so worked up by uh, uh, by externals and uh, Uh, by external ups and downs so now in the developing country developed countries in general they tend to be more materialistic and because of that well, there is a one self conception largely comes from one's material assets and that's why it's very difficult for people to stay peaceful uh, when the material things go up and down whereas in the develop developing countries quite often because material things don't work people don't have high expectations of material things and they have settled to gaining some sort of security from within some sort of stability from within and especially when there is a spiritual culture which is still there in at least some of the developing countries then that spiritual culture that connection that understanding that there is something higher within me there is something higher to my life that also brings sense of stability the bhagavad gita increases the sense of stability manifold by giving us a clear conception of uh, of our inner world it helps us understand that we at our core are souls and as souls we are actually um, uh, having an internal relationship with krishna who is the supreme shelter who is the rock who never changes and by connecting with him we can get a uh, great stability that no matter what we gain or what we lose in the outer world uh, our inner connection with krishna can always give us stability in the bhagavad gita krishna states that how uh, the obsession with the external causes great worry lifelong worry and unlimited worry chintam aparime yam cha pralayantam upashitah कामोपभोग परमा एतावदिति निश्चितः 
16.11 Krishna said, Chintam aparimeyam cha. Chinta is anxiety. Aparimeyam. Immeasurable anxiety comes up. Why? Pralayantam upashutaha. Till the moment of death. What? Kamo upabhog. Parama. Kamo upabhog. Because of the desire to enjoy uh, worldly, object, worldly objects. Etavati nishchitaha. Those who think that this is the way to enjoyment. And there is no other way to enjoyment. Those who are certain like this. The Prabhupada translate that they, they consider material enjoyment, sense gratification, the prime necessity of life. So when that which is external is what we think as essential, then con the consequence is that we uh, we put ourselves to anxiety because the external is not in our control. That's why she says, chintam, anxiety, aparimeyam, immeasurable, and pralayantam, till the moment of death it will go on. And if you want to become free from anxiety rather than uh, laboring under the misconception that external things are the source of pleasure, we can uh, educate ourselves spiritually and elevate our consciousness and by realizing our spiritual identity, by relishing our spiritual connection with Krishna, gain the inner stability that will be the most effective counter to anxiety. Thank you. Hare Krishna.